What's up, everybody? Welcome to the pod. This is Information Man Media. Let's get at it right now. I'm sure all of you have heard about Jamie Foxx over the last few uh, weeks and months. Um, all of a sudden, he was working on a movie, and then we heard he was going straight into the hospital. There was something that happened to him. There was a lot of speculation about uh, Brother Fox, whether he had a stroke, whether he uh, went blind, uh, whether he was paralyzed in a coma. There was a variety of different things that happened to him that we weren't aware of. Everyone wanted to know what's going on. And so that situation led to people coming up with their conspiracy theories, their uh, their own conclusions where people believe that he actually is no longer with us because he's been cloned. And I think in this video that I'm going to show you, uh, and everybody knows about this video that he put out there where he spoke for the first time, he sort of focused on the reasons why he did not give everybody the details. Now, remember when you get sick and you're in the hospital, do you really want people who are not your family members to know your personal business, okay? I mean, that's just something to think about. Do you really want people to know all your medical and issues that are going on? People are pride, prideful, and they don't always want to disclose these things. But of course, with Jamie Foxx being a entertainer, we wanna know, we got to know what's going on with Jamie Foxx because there's people that love him. There's people that hate him and they're, they're hate watching and they wanna, they wanna speculate. Now, this whole thing about cloning, I just wanna get this out the way as I get ready to show his video. This whole thing about cloning, and I wanna use some logic here. Now, does cloning exist? Yes, I believe they can clone animals as well as humans. We know that people are experimenting on these Frankenstein type science. It's happening right now. Two, we have to understand that Jamie Foxx is an entertainer. And we know that entertainers have stunt doubles that have people that look alike. So anything is possible ever since that footage came out with him on the boat and people on the boat waving, people were kind of skeptical, like they don't look like him. He doesn't look like his head, the shape of his face. And I'm here to tell you, um, this is why, look, Jamie Foxx is a black man. When has Jamie Foxx been sort of a guy that bucks the system? Meaning, when has he spoken out in a Malcolm X or a Dr. King way that makes him a threat to the political and the social system? He's an actor, a comedian entertainer very talented brother but he's no malcolm x and he's no dr king so to me personally i don't see how the system would see him as a threat if you were going to do a body snatch on somebody you would want to body snatch someone who's more of a political threat such as for example you got cornell west right now who's running for president and he's causing a lot of problems for the democratic party that's a man that you would definitely want to clone because you would want to get him out of the box but why Jamie Foxx? And then I got to ask this question. Why are we so oriented to conspiracy theories? Why is it that we believe that every time someone passes away, someone gets sick in a hospital, we always run to they've been replaced. And why do we always believe that there's some sort of uh, blood oath? That's why they're gone. I remember decades and years ago, I'm 53 years old, where we didn't really talk about that sort of stuff. It was just the person is gone. They're gone. Right. Um, but now everybody wants to know because of social media, the information age that we're living in. Everybody wants to know every single thing that's going on. And if they don't have all the information, it leads them to project their own ideology and vision of what they think is going on, which such as cloning and replacement in this video that Jamie Foxx put out. And I'm going to show you, he debuts that by saying, no, I'm not a clone. I'm just joking. Not, I'm not, I'm not cloned. I want to say to everybody very fairly you make your guess on the comment section of this video if you think that this is really jamie fox let me show you a still picture of what you're about to see now that is the still picture of jamie fox putting out his announcement that he was sick he's getting he's gotten better he went through a lot his daughter people that were close to him he was happy that they kept everything a secret didn't put all the business out there jamie fox didn't want that out there and look let me just say this, just because he's an actor, a comedian, a writer, I mean, the whole nine yard, we think because we like these entertainers, the Holly weird, okay? Uh, I gotta say it, it's Holly weird. 
We seem to think because <laughs> we seem to think because we like these people that we're entitled to know all their business because there's tabloids and we always know their their business about who they're in a relationship with, who they're mad at, the whole family drama. But technically, when a person gets sick and they go to the hospital, you really don't have entitlement to know what their medical conditions are unless somebody leaks it. Because in California and in the land, there's something called HIPAA. HIPAA is a medical law. It is in the law where when someone gets sick, no matter what the sickness is, you don't have the right to disclose their medical condition to the public. I don't have the right. Even unauthorized family members don't have the right to tell you what's going on with Jamie Foxx. The only people who had that authorized right is whoever has the power of attorney that he's given it to. In this case, it was his daughter who pretty much did all the speaking. Guess what? Under HIPAA laws, you have the right to designate certain people in your family who need to know. And if you don't need to know, you ain't going to know. <laughs> Unless they tell you. OK, so let's just end the BS right there. Everybody was talking about his health conditions and saying, oh, he has this. He has that. The bottom line is. We don't know exactly what he had, and he don't really have to tell us. But we do know that he said in the video that I'm going to show you that he had tubes in his body, and he didn't want people to see him with tubes and looking really raggedy um, like, like he said he was. So let's just keep that in mind. Again, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but you're not entitled to your own facts. If you believe that he has still been, been cloned, Go ahead, eat your heart out if that's what you believe. Hey, I'm not hating on anybody because I know that anything's possible. They can replace anybody. But the question I say again, why would they replace Jamie Foxx? What is it about Jamie Foxx that makes him a threat to the system that he has to be cloned? And what is it that Jamie Foxx is doing to lead black people either in negative directions or positive because he doesn't lead us. We simply watch these people for entertainment purposes. However, entertainers can be used to manipulate us as well. Now, they can be. Keep this in mind, too. As much as we want to believe in conspiracy theories and things of that nature, or we want to have our own ideas about whether he's been cloned or he's been replaced or whatever you want to believe, which is your right, make sure that you understand that conspiracy theories are things that you believe you can also be manipulated by conspiracy theories and what you believe just as much as society the system, the government can manipulate you because they can they can make you want to believe that people are being cloned for the purpose of manipulating you and making you believe in what they want you to be to believe in. Because he or she who controls the media, controls cinema, audio, radio, visual arts, controls the mind. And therefore, they can put a suggestion in your mind to make you believe this and that. Just keep this in mind as I get ready to put Jamie Foxx up here and let you see his video. And I want you to give me your honest opinion, everybody, about Jamie Foxx and what you think is really going on. I really appreciate you all. So with that said, let's get to the Jamie Foxx video right now. Here we go. I want to say thank you to everybody that's prayed, man, and sent me messages. I cannot even begin to tell you um, how, how far it took me and how, how it brought me back. Um, uh, I went through something that I, I thought I would never ever go through. Uh, and I know a lot of people were waiting, you know, or wanting to hear updates, but to be honest with you, I just didn't want you to see me like that, man. You know, I want you to see me laughing, having a good time, partying cracking a joke, doing a movie, television show. I didn't want you to see me with uh, with tubes um, running out of me and and trying to figure out uh, if, if I was gonna make it through. And to be honest with you, my, uh, my sister Deidre Dixon, my daughter Corinne Marie saved my life. So uh, to them, to God, to a lot of great medical people, uh, I'm able to leave you this uh, video. I cannot tell you how great it feels to have your family kick in in such a way. And, and y'all know they kept it airtight. They didn't let nothing out. They protected me. And that's what I hope that everyone could have in moments like these. Uh, 
And then, you know, by being quiet, sometimes things, you know, get out of hand. People saying what I got. Some people said I was, I was blind, but as you can see, uh, as you can see, the eyes are working. The eyes are working just fine. Uh, said I was paralyzed, I'm not paralyzed. Uh, but I did go through, I went to hell and back. And my road to recovery uh, had some potholes as well. But um, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm coming back and uh, I'm able to work. So I wanna thank uh, uh, the people that let me work. Um, and I just wanna like say uh, I, that, I, that I, I love everybody and I love all of the love that I got. And man, you know, I know they talk about people crying on videos. You know, you can do take two, but I'm not gonna do a take two. This is, it is what it is. And if you see me out uh, from now on and every once in a while, I just burst into tears is because um, it's been tough, man. I was sick, man, but now I've got my legs out, uh, under me. So you're gonna see me out. Uh, but like I said, I just want you to remember me for uh, the jokes that I crack, uh, the, the movies that I make, some of them good, some of them ain't. I think I got a good one out. Uh, and the songs that I sing, man. And then, you know, somebody was, was talking about I'm clone. Well, check this out. Just kidding. Uh, not clone, man, but I, I'm here on earth because of some great people. I'm here on earth because of God, man. So I love all y'all. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that uh, I'm on my way back. And all right. <laughs> so there it is. That's Jamie Foxx. I want you to be honest. Let me know if you think uh, that that is the real Jamie Foxx. If you think that he's still cloned, I don't mind. You know, give your opinion, give your thoughts. Uh, I'm certainly not going to hate on people who believe that he's cloned because I know that these are things that are very real. Uh, they can very well clone people, even though they don't want to tell you and me. They can definitely replace people. I mean, the science is out there. We've seen it. They can clone sheep and goat and what have you. So that any of those things are possible. But I just feel like, you know, we live in a world where black people are not very well liked. We're hated on. There's a lot of hate. They're trying, they're trying to destroy us to a certain degree. And ask yourself, why would they want to clone more black people if they trying to get rid of us? <laughs> Just a thought. And yeah, you may say, well, no, they want to clone celebrities because they can use celebrities to manipulate us. I get that. But uh, usually the system is more concerned about uh, individuals that uh, pose a threat to the system. Now, maybe you can say that, well, they could have cloned Jamie because they want to use him passively as a returning you know as a uh, inside man or something like that nature so you know you know and i gotta be honest we get a lot of our ideas folks about conspiracy theories let's be honest we get a lot of our ideas remember i said you gotta be aware of who controls the cameras who controls radio who controls medium because the he or she who controls mass media controls the mind we get a lot of our ideas about this stuff from watching movies television shows and what they put out there uh, this is where we get it at. We weren't born knowing this kind of information. It's given to us by our environment that we're in. But um, I sir, I'm, I most certainly hope that it is the real Jamie Foxx and that we haven't been bamboozled um, because uh, it is what it is. And I certainly respect people who have a belief that, you know, people are cloned in this world because anything is very possible. But um, let me know in the comment section of this video if you think that is the real Jamie Foxx. He did kind of joke with everybody and say, hey, I know people have been saying this about me, that I'm cloned, that I'm this. And he's saying, no, none of that is true. And I understand as someone that works in the medical field that there is something called HIPAA, which you don't need to give anybody information who's not in your immediate circle uh, information. Now, there was someone, a white guy who had an interview who jumped out the window and said some things about Jamie Foxx and the family has already debunked the things that he has said. So that's why we have to sometimes sit back, analyze and assess everything and see how it all comes out in the wash. But with that said, everybody, I appreciate you being here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. If you have not share this video on all your social media and your content this content in your community tab. If you are a content creator yourself, I appreciate you for being here and we're going to get on out of here. This is the pod. You just been potted and uh, I appreciate you right now, folks. Peace. <laughs>